All right, today I want to talk car ramps. A lot of people like them, a lot of people hate them. I'm personally getting used to those as they are very versatile and I'm using this kind, which is the metal one. Um, I am a little bit concerned about the safety and the convenience, how to use them. So today I want to show you a quick tip on how to have more fun with them, especially for the slipping. So a lot of people complain that when you put them on the floor and you're working on concrete, which uh, is quite smooth, then those sometimes slip a little bit and this can, yeah turn into accidents for you and for your car and we don't want those so today just a short quick tip on what I did to my ramps and how I'm enjoying them now so these are the ramps and as you can see pretty smooth and slippery then on the bottom and we will scuff this up as a first thing by using just some sandpaper to remove the paint um, to actually make this a little bit rougher not for the um, contact itself but because we want to put something on there and we will use this which is pretty much just a sliced uh, foot mat for the car, rubber foot mat and we will put those small pieces on the scuffed up surface. We will use uh, multiple of those, so in total uh, six on one of them, and also for the second one, then we have 12 of those little uh, rubber pads. We will put them on there by glue, and we will use shoe glue, uh, which is by far my favorite glue. It smells like the devil, but it's so good. Before we put the glue on our little rubber pieces, we will need to prepare the surface just a little bit because this is closed rubber and we just use a knife and cut the surface open a little bit because the glue likes to grab into something. So we just allow that by yeah, making this kind of structure in there, just cut randomly so that you have very small uh, cuts and this is good for the glue. Very easy, very fast. We do that on the back sides of all of our pieces and then we go over to gluing. Alright, so we got the pads on. Let this uh, sit for a day or two because the glue needs to cure. It takes some time usually and pretty satisfied with that. And you can see um, we can now sit the part on there and yeah, looks nice. So, a little tryout, proof the pudding. We got some pretty slippery concrete here, as you can see, all reflecting. So, the stuff is yeah, no fun if you don't have our little mod on there. And I put the ramps already in place, and now I'm going to show you how much more fun this is now to climb the ramps. All right, let's go. So if that wasn't the smoothest ramp climb you've ever seen. So I'm really having a lot of fun with this little mod with the rubber mat pieces. And as you can see, I additionally also put this edge protection on top just because I don't like my tires to get sliced open by some shitty sharp edges there and this was just the easiest thing to do since I still had them. Alright, so if this was helpful to you guys, 
give me a thumbs, thumbs up and uh, maybe I'll find a link to those ramps and put it in the uh, description below. All right, have a good one. Bye-bye.